What's up everyone, I'm Lawfame GX and welcome back to some Wee Pit in Sword Art Online We Hollow Fragments. Now I have a bit of offence to do and I was only checking out new stuff with Lodi here to get stuff done. But Shion wants to talk to us during the day, so we are gonna go do that. I'm also, as soon as I can, I'm going to turn off inverted up and down. Actually no, I'm gonna turn inverted back on because I don't know why, but it's confusing me. Like, yeah. So, welcome to the first welcome to the first episode of the session again, where I'm like, oh yeah, we're just gonna what you call it. Blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. Uh, where we're just gonna do all the fence scenes to get them out and done with, and then. We are not doing regular mission, we are going to go to the hollow area and do missions there. Okay. They're talking about something I really don't care about. My chair is very close to my desk right now. I need to push this back a little bit. Also, my arm rest is all the way up. Let me pull that down. There we go, that's a good distance. I just skipped the text. Yes. Oh. Now let's move my mic a bit closer to my mouth. Just so you can hear me better. Okay. Why are you giving me a concerned face with that? Also, gonna need a thumbnail for this episode, so boom. There we go, thumbnail for the episode. Damn, it's really windy outside. I'm actually kind of glad I didn't go myself today. Yeah, today is Sunday the 5th of the 3rd, 2017. And... Yeah, this week's been kind of like... On and off rain, heavy winds, and it's just like... It's gonna be okay for Sunday, and it's just like... Nah. It's really not, and I just decided to not go rest off today. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, unique skills and all that. Jesus Sniper. That's right! Oh, I can't wait to train you up in a bow in the fucking, uh, what you call it. Um, my grinding area. That's gonna be fun! However, this is actually important, so I'm going to pay a bit more attention to this. Got a sniping skill. Interesting. Yep. We're going to get you a bow. Because there's no guns in this game. I was actually thinking a little earlier today, just because, um... I'm re-watching Code Geass right now, and I was just like... Man, I love this anime. It makes me want to play strategy and everything. However, I do play strategy, and I'm fucking shit at it. 
I am more of a person that follows orders from a proper strategist and executes them quite hopefully well. And I was just wondering, have that, has anyone made a game like that where it's a co-op multiplayer game where one is the strategist and the other is the, like, is the general infantry unit? Like, I feel that like that could actually be a really good game, but I feel like it's probably out there. Just not a big title, like it's a indie title type thing. But I actually feel like that would be a really good feature. I need to speak to Joe about it because me and him play not me and him normally play a lot of strategy games together. He plays them way more, and he's good at them. I play them. If I go up against him, I'm terrible and all that. That's right. I wonder if this is like a list shop, so you don't really have much dis on display, but everything's on a list. Where it's just like, oh, this looks neat. Hmm, <laughs> Okay, I, I, I don't know how smart NPCs are in this because that could just be a scripted dialogue. Like, yeah, I got this boat a few days ago when the game started. Yeah, I don't know. But then again, this is on a system that did have its own AI. But, and the system is learning. All that stuff. So possibly. I like to think the longer Sword Online goes on, the more lag. Like, maybe Floor 2 at, like floor two and higher didn't exist at the start because no one was there. It's just like, cool, we're not going to come alive until someone enters this floor. Just like... Tch. And we're all alive. That'd be a cool way of actually reducing lag. I'm just like, cool. So, unless someone actually opens the doorway to this floor, there's not going to be any data active on this floor. I think it'll be hard to execute, but definitely be a way of making less lag on uh, CPU and everything. Okay, I'm gonna go on a rant here about some games I've been playing lately. First of all, GTA. I fucking hate GTA Online. It's quite, it's okay f fun and everything when you have your own lobby and you're playing with uh, friends and everything. Playing with randoms, your the community for it is so fucking bad. And I hate that you have to do public lobbies for CEO missions. It really does actually annoy me. To the point where I'm just like, go. I actually have to get my friend Simon on. Because he knows a way to make private public lobbies for a good few hours. So we do that. And then we do missions. What I also annoy now, CEO buildings have about seven seats in total in the meeting room. However, we found out yesterday, only four people can be in a CEO, uh, uh, in a company together. Only four. I find that bullshit. If you have seven seats, use those seven seats. Yeah, that kind of annoyed me yesterday as well. Just because, uh, I believe Joe came online when I was playing with uh, other friends as well. Like, there was already four of us in the group. Joe came online. Oh, yeah, I'll invite you and just like... Why can't I invite him? Your organization is full. Is this a bug? Like, how I can log into the computer? Nope, it's actually you can only have four members. What is stupid. And of course we were thinking of just... Um, doing a, uh, what you call it. Like, just running two organizations, he gets his money, I get my money. We're not gonna be dicks with each other. But then more people started joining and we just went... You want to do racist? 
we just did races for about an hour or half an hour or so. Quite fun actually, yeah. But it, that was an annoying feature, just like, cool, you have this organization system in where you can only have four people. Why? I just, I just found it stupid and everything. I've already lost, like, what you call it, plot in the storyline. Also, I've been playing Overwatch. Mm. Now, the new... S well, actually. Now, oh, maybe you get the first competitive match I do with Joe. I'm not saying Joe's bad or anything. I'm just saying Meadow is bad at the moment in Overwatch. Complain about the game, not the person. Because it's also my fault, because the first three matches I did, I uh, was just me solo, and... There wasn't much talking going on because I was focusing a lot more. Whenever I'm playing with friends, I tend to less focus. Just because I want to keep conversation going. I don't want there to be awkward silence. But yeah, it's... Uh... Fashion Matt is broken. Uh, kind of my fault as well in this regard. I'm turning that fucking controls off now because that's really annoying me. Nope, default. Confirm. Okay, there. That is much better. I somehow can play again. Oh, I don't really care about you. But yeah, um, a little bit my fault as well. Uh, I'm going to say this, Overwatch is not a fucking team deathmatch game. You want team deathmatch, go to elimination or some bullshit 3-3-3 match, you're going competitive, it's objective. Overwatch is an objective based game. So can my team please jump on the fucking payload and move the fucking thing? This annoys me so much because I'm the only one on the payload and they're defending the payload. It's just like, cool, I can't actually kill anyone right now because A, the healer's not with me. I'm the tank, but I am no, but I have no damage dealers to kill off the people that is trying to kill me. Also, annoying feature. If I'm playing Reinhardt and I put my shield up, don't walk in front of my fucking shield. You can shoot through my fucking shield. Stand behind the fucking shield. Don't go like, oh, I'm just gonna run in front of you and now shoot and then die. And then gonna blame you, Reinhardt, for not blocking. I'm just like, mate, do you see how fast I move with the shield up? You can shoot through my shield and I protect you. Don't bitch. <laughs> yeah, no. I think I might do some more Overwatch today. I don't know. My... I said this about an hour ago. My plan for today is record, record, and script right, because I'm on the last fucking episode on the machinima I'm finally working on. <laughs> Want to get done. I've been saying this for two fucking years now, just like, yes, I'm doing a machinima. Two year fucking, like, okay, yes, it kind of takes, but writing for me is the worst. That's why my early machinimas were a lot of improv stuff with little script needed. I improbbed a lot of it, but I don't want to do that just because I watch them and they're bad. They're bad because I was young. They're bad because it's just improv is something that is on the fly. Plus I did all the voices for them, was also bad. Other people did want the script and it's just like, I'll just, I'll just do the voices for most of them. So yeah, I, like I want to do this so much better, like, actually do the preparation, because, again, I, I also recorded it on the day, and just like, oh, right, we're just going to do this now, and everything, no script or anything, let's just do this. Uh, this is how I feel like the episode should go, and everything, and yeah, we'll just go from there. But no, it's just like, we're getting the script, we're getting all the writing done for, we're getting the script, we're building all the sets for it. Now, initially, I did do that in the last one, we got all the sets built. 
Uh, we're gonna hire all the... Okay, we're gonna look and hire all the people for freelance work. This is free. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't pay you uh, to add in my machinima. If we can get uh, enough support in the first machinima, maybe for the third one I can actually pay some people. But I, I'm not saying anything. We're gonna get voice actors. Once we got all that, we're gonna go. We're gonna finally shoot the stuff, and we're gonna shoot it mostly in the first two weeks. First two weeks, I want to try shoot everything, and then all that leaves is editing. Get all the voices clipped in, all the sound effects, all the intros, all that stuff. Just at that point, it's editing from that point on, and it's just like, yes, this is so much nicer to do. And I'm bored of this dialogue again. I don't like Leary. The first episode of every session has mostly been, "Let's do the offense, so we can just get the fuck out of the way." Here's the story of the game for each character. Wait, one sec. Let me let me go to the website quickly. Uh. Pfft. I think it's called How Long To Beat. How Long To Beat. God. Oh, online. Other fragments. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's called How Long To Beat. Papa ni mama. So yobasete ru dake daro kedo. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Okay. Main story, 54 hours. Main plus extra, 113 hours. Now this is the PS Vita game, but I don't know if they changed much in the, uh, what you call it. Okay, just to ensure that we'll actually just do it. <laughs> okay, apparently it's a little less on extra. Uh, it's only 99 and a half hours on extra. There's no main story for it though. Like, in beat-wise, I mean. So, not as bad. Yeah, it, it's roughly on an average of a hundred hours for this game to be. Damn, I chose a long... I chose a game very long. Do I even have a login for this site? I very doubt it. No, I should probably make one. Yep, go, 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 go. Really don't care. I'm really not caring about the story right now. Yeah, and as I said, if you want to know it, just go ahead. Click on it. Other than that, it's mostly going to get skipped. I know this place. Why do I know this place? Because this place is very close to me. Oh, it really is close to me. It's Liru. All right. Cool. <laughs> so it just someone in the uh, um, place. Na, just to ask you, but so, you are the children of the Oh, 
Huh. Very true. The new Legend of Zelda game, as I'm just looking through a gift on Facebook, has a round shield. A lot of them just had the traditional types, like fancy most type of shield, you know, the... I wouldn't say it's a square, but it's a square with a curve in. Yeah, this also, this also one doesn't have the Hyrule symbol on it. I, I really don't feel like getting a Switch. Like, the game does actually look really nice on the Switch. But at the same time, I'm literally just like... I'm most likely just gonna get on the Wii U. I already have a Wii U. I don't feel like bothering on getting a Switch. I really don't. The controller is way too small. Like... The only thing that could be tempting me to get a Switch is a new Pokemon game on it. Like, if they release the first three Pokemon games as one big game, then I'll be like, that's interesting. But they've just done that recently with the third one, so... Second one's not been that long, and I don't know, Fire Red might come to it? But, yeah. I, I just thought... I'd rather get it on the Wii U, just because I can't be asked. I, I, I'm giving up on this dialogue. Yeah, it's, I, I just don't see... The purpose on the Switch is boring to me. Like... Smartphone and Nintendo for actually... Realizing release a good triple A title uh, on it when it released because I remember when uh, the Wii came out and yeah, there was not really a triple A title for it. But at the same time, it's like cool. I don't play Mario. I really like I'll have the game, but I'm only I've only gotten the game on like extreme sales or anything just because like. Cool. Uh, I don't play this game. This, like, yeah. Mario, not my thing. Zelda, I actually do like just because of the RPG aspect, or like exploring the world, all that. That's that's quite fun. Uh, I don't know. One, uh, one, two, switch. Just like, uh. Don't really have many friends in real life to come over and just be like, yo, let's play the Wii Smith. Let's play the Switch because I have friends locally. No, most of my friends are online. I do have local friends, but they're not much into gaming because they're from work and all that stuff. They do play a few games, but it's not. Can't really be asked to like, yeah, come over, we play this. Okay, you just kind of about how she feels lonely and all that. Go, go, that's the storyline for this. Oh, uh, what's going on? Yeah, uh, Bomberman. I don't really care. Uh, I don't know, like... I like the original Pikmin. I haven't played Pikmin 3 yet. Well, I actually really do. I actually never play Pikmin 2. Uh, yeah. In fact, never played Pikmin 2. Uh... Truth be told, I never knew it existed until I heard P uh, Pikmin 3. Yeah. Uh... I 
Like, I, I think I've seen little gameplay of Pikmin 3. Uh, I know there's three characters you can pick from, and it's just... Eh. It's something of that game, just like... I don't know in retrospect, but I feel like... Cool. Do I have to play as these other characters to get through a mission? Like, is it gonna force me to play these characters? Or do I literally have to select them? Because if I have to select them... Already, that's a bad point in the game. Because I remember playing the original Pikmin. And that was fun. And I should really want to fucking play Pikmin right now. <laughs> Might just whip out like... Uh, my CD. One sec. Can you play... Uh... Yeah, you can play GameCube games on the Wii U, can't you? You can, right? Like, I, I swear to God I've done it. Or was that on my Wii? Ah, oh, crap. I literally don't remember. Uh, one sec. Go to the JJ's with us and buy some stuff. Go to Ragnar's shop with Leafa. Well, guess what? We are now going to go to the hollow area because there's only two offense left. And I'll do those two offense later. Wait, now, oh, goddamn. Yep, she's got a bow now, that's cool. Any bow I get from the hollow area, I will be giving it to her. Okay then. Yes. Okay, I don't want to go to the hollow area with anyone because I want to focus on Philia. There. Yeah, but just... No, there's nothing for me on the Switch. It could be one day, but... I see that day as the future and it's like... Cool, I'm not really... Like, I have the DS for Monster Hunter and Pokemon, mostly. Uh, I want to get Fire Emblem on it, and I will one day, but other than that, mostly my 3DS has been... I feel so bad by Nintendo consoles because I don't play anything on them. They're literally like back shelf consoles for me. Like, go on, play this game now. Anyway, I've kept this episode going a little longer than... I actually know it's coming up to the peak where I normally it's like... Of this stuff. We're going to stop this episode just a little early today for this episode. But I've been Love Flame GX and... Tune in next time for more Sword Art Online Re-Hollow Fragments. Yeah. Bye!